Welcome everybody. So in the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 Switch port, there's a cool glitch which might be patched soon, but I don't know. But before we start with the 420 run, I'd like to explain you how the palace door glitch works. There are four states to a door. The closing state, the closed, opening and the opened door with their corresponding inputs, durations and buttons, as shown below. We'll only focus on the closed and open states, including the buttons, um, since the door animations are just move pixels on screen and do nothing. If we set the relations from the four door states and the button states together with the usage and door locking in one grid, it would look something like this. So here we can see that the door is blocked if the door button is on or like green, um, if the door is completely down or if the door is closing. So um, now let's go through. If the door is closed, then the green button is there. And if the door is closing, then you hit the red button, so it turned green. So it's also green. So we can minimize this to a uh, green button only. And the affecting usage, uh, the only thing that affects usage is the door being completely down or up. Everything else does not affect usage whatsoever. So for example, if the door is completely up and you hit the door button, then it closes. And while it's closing, the usage is not being increased. However, if the door arrives at the bottom, then it is increased by 1. If you then hit the button again and it rises up, the usage will still be the same for as long as it's moving and just um, when it's completely up, then it will decrease 1 again to its original state. So the most optimal thing for us would be to have the doors blocked and the usage not affected. And if we could get this state right here, somehow in the game, then we would be golden, literally, because we would have blocked doors and still have our one bar usage, with it, with the, which is the minimum, um, so we're not wasting any power, but not letting anyone in. That would be perfect. So now you can pause in-game, and this causes this glitch to happen, or just to be possible in the first place. Um, so let's see how you can do this how you can recreate the glitch, and why it works. So let's just assume you're having the door button red and the door opened. That's the right square right there. Then you're hitting the door button, door button is green and the door slowly comes down. Before it reaches the bottom, the floor, um, you pause. So the door button is still green obviously, but um, the door animation is done already before um, you unpause. But the door has not reached the ground yet. So the normal behavior of the door animation would be to disappear and then turn into the closed door sprite. But the door is not closed because it hasn't reached the ground yet. So the door animation disappears but our door button is still green. Let's look back on a grid again. This is exactly what we wanted. We're having the door, we're having the door button green but not having the door closed. So we're having like um, green blocks the door and not affecting usage. So let's simulate what happens now. So we're uh, sitting in our office, chilling, um, closing the door, pausing before it reaches end, the animation disappears, we unpause and we're done. And with these words and this highly scientific uh, explanation, I want to get into the 420 mode, beating it with the maximum percentage you can possibly beat the 420. This is this is important. This is really important because this is the percentage that you can possibly have as a maximum. And I think this number helps us understand where the limit is to 420 or like to night 7 in general, I guess. Uh, so yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, why am I saying that now? I don't know. Enjoy the video. Bye.